All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Sam. I'm from the 100 Plus Accelerator team, uh, and I'm here today quickly just to take you through our Cohort 7 uh, application form in F Success. First, I want to just say thank you so much uh, for taking the time to fill out uh, our application, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, uh, I'm going to take you through the form, just show you what kinds of questions you're going to be dealing with. I have a few questions that uh, I want to cover specifically. And then at the end, I'll just give you two little quick pieces of advice uh, to make your application the best one that it can be. So you can see here that I've set up Sam's test company. Uh, I think it's awesome. And uh, I filled out the form here. So you can see there's uh, text-based answers like this where you just type your answers in. Uh, we have drop-down answers like this one here where you choose from a list of options. Uh, we have number questions like this where you type in numbers. Typically, we're asking about funding or other, other money-based questions. And then right at the end, I'd like to show you this one last style of question. Yeah. So these two questions here, question 34 and question 35, there may be others like this as well. Um, they are giving you the option to provide emails for us to reach out or, and also for you to provide videos for us to watch. Uh, and we're giving you the option to provide up to three. So you'll see, let's say I want to provide three videos, right? So I'm going to click this first box here next to URL video one, and then it's going to give me an area to paste the video link, which is great. I've just pasted our website, but obviously for you guys, you'll paste uh, whatever material you want us to watch. Now say you have a second video that you want us to watch, you'll just click this second box and then paste the link here. And then again, a third link here like that. Obviously, if you only have one video or two videos, just select that many boxes, but please um, choose these boxes if you'd like to upload more than one. Okay, with that in mind, that's all the types of questions that we have in this form. Uh, I just want to mention one thing super quickly about these questions here. So um, question nine and 10 are asking you, who are your notable investors? And then also to name the top accelerator programs or awards that you've participated in. Now, so we're asking you to fill in these text boxes with the names of the investors, the programs, and the awards. And then questions 11, 12, and 13, we're asking you to upload the URL to the logo of those investors, programs, or awards that you've mentioned. So we're asking you to do this in a slightly specific way. Uh, we want you to go to the official website of the investor uh, or the program or the award. We want you to locate the logo, right-click on it, uh, select copy image address, and then paste the actual URL link here. So I'm gonna show you how to do that uh, right now. So on our website, just as an example, if we say that um, AB InBev is, a, uh, is an investor in Sam's test company, uh, for me to upload the URL, it's very simple. I just, there's this little image here on our website, so I'm gonna right click it, and then it's gonna give me this big list of options, and I'm gonna click copy image address. Now, I'm in Google Chrome. If you're in a different browser, uh, or a different Internet Explorer, it might not look identical to this, but every browser should have the ability to copy image addresses. So I would just look it up. If you don't see it in this menu, I'm sure there's a way to do it in whatever search engine you're using. Anyway, so right click, choose copy image address, come back to the form and paste it just like that. Now, an important detail to mention, and it's also mentioned here as well, is that we're only accepting files that are in .png, .jpg, or .jpeg formats. And that's just to make our jobs a little bit easier after you guys have applied. So you can see that this one is perfect because right at the end of the whole link, it says .png, and that's exactly what we're looking for. Now, the last, last thing about the form that I want to mention quickly is the uh, questions 18 and 19. So question 18 is asking you which challenge you're applying to. Right, and we have this little drop-down list. And then question 19 is asking you, which sub-challenge are you applying to? And there's a big, big list. Now, this list may look intimidating, but our website covers every challenge and each of its sub-challenges with big descriptions. So if you go to our website, we have this challenges tab that you can see here, and it has every single challenge in it. And if you just click on the learn more, it'll bring you to the sub-challenges and a description of each. So if you're not sure which, uh, which sub-challenge or which main challenge applies to you the most, I would highly recommend going to our website and looking them up uh, and finding the one that uh, fits you or your startup the best. Every year, 
we get startups that um, whose product or what they do is applicable to multiple sub challenges or even multiple main challenges, we just ask that you make a judgment call uh, on that one and just pick the one that you think uh, represents your startup uh, the best. Anyway, with that in mind, that's the form. Very simple. Uh, there's about 35-ish questions. We think that it should take you maybe 15 to 30 minutes uh, to fill out the whole thing. So not too bad. But um, in terms of filling out the actual form, I have two little quick pieces of advice for you. Uh, thing number one we always recommend is just keep, uh, excuse me, keeping your answers clear and concise. Uh, and then piece of advice number two, I think, is if you have testing metrics or you have product metrics or any kind of number that can help us understand the impact that your startup has had, I would highly, highly recommend including that. Metrics are amazing because it tells us what your startup does and then also immediately gives us a number to show the impact of your startup or your product or whatever you guys are doing. So I would highly, highly recommend using metrics if possible. If not, that's totally okay. But um, if you have metrics surrounding your impact, that's just, it's the easiest way for us to understand the impact that your startup has had. And it's a very clear way of communicating that. Um, but yeah, with that in mind, I want to just say thank you so much again for taking the time to apply to our program and good luck.